All right, so I just want to make a quick video on how to disconnect these, this, the small connectors on my bypass cables, because these things can be a pain in the butt. And if you, you know, pull too hard on this wiring, it will pull right out of these connectors. Um, you know, it's not meant to, these are not meant to be pulled out by the wiring. You actually have to grab onto the connector to pull them out. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate the, the easiest thing to do is use, you know, a very small screwdriver. I usually use like my pocket knife. Um, there's a tab, if you can see this here, where you basically you're supposed to be able to push down on this tab. And even the manufacturer of these says to use a tool to do this. You push down on this one because there's a barb in here that holds this in place. What I find easiest to do, and you know, hopefully you can do it in the can block, but if you look at the top of this, there's a little bit of a gap. So I kind of pull out on this, there's a little bit of a gap. I like to get something down in there and that'll push down on the barb. And then if I turn out, it actually will stop pulling the connector out. So that's just for my adapter on, this, on the harness, which this adapter is just for fourth gen 1500s. But I'm gonna use this like this little mini block here to kind of demonstrate, um, you know, you doing that on the actual can block inside the vehicle. So let's just plug both of these in. And actually, so I'll show you here. If you can see, this is the little barb right here. And when you push down on this tab, it's supposed to drop this barb down, but you really gotta get some good leverage, get really in on this tab to make this drop down enough to unlock. So it can be a little difficult, um, but, so like I said, what I like to do is when they're locked in, if you can get to this, side of it this view kind of just pull out on these a little bit so you have some space in here and if you can get you know a very thin phillips head flat screwdriver if you have some kind of you know pick tool pocket knife like i said i typically use my pocket knife you just get down in here push down on it and then kind of twist and it'll push this right out same this one here i push down on it twist comes right out the other thing i want to mention is there is a little kind of spot on the underside of these where you can kind of hook on to to pull these out so if i grab one of these kind of get a nail behind that and pull out on once i have it at this point right here um you know other than that it's that's the easiest way i found to do it it's a pain in the butt trying to you know find something that'll get in here push down enough you're trying to push down and pull out at the same time it's just kind of a difficult thing to do so like i said i typically just use my pocket knife you know so i come in here i get the edge of the tip of the knife in push down twist pops right out so that's the way i do it uh hopefully this will help some others you know i've had i have had a few people where you know they come back they have some difficulty either they mangled the hell out of one of these connectors with some pliers because they couldn't get it out or they pulled so hard on you know the wiring that they just pulled the wiring right right out of the connector so just wanted to make this video hopefully you know you find this helpful if you ever have to come in and you know disconnect these like i said this is the way i do it i just get right in that little crevice push down twist out and grab the connector and just pull out on it.